on our way back to the police station right now. A couple of officers just went to the Smiths. I believe that's them right there at the light. This is him right here. They just arrested a guy at Smiths for shoplifting, and it sounds like he's combated. We're going to go back to the station and assist them getting him out and getting him into booking. Kill me. Kill me. Kill me. Yeah, kill me, motherfucker. Kill me. You kill me. Apparently, the uh, guy was arrested for shoplifting at Smith's. Seems like he's very intoxicated. He's got a real strong odor of alcohol on him. Upset for some reason when we got here. Uh, several of us took custody of him, uh, mostly to prevent injury to us or him. Uh, we were able to gain control of him, get him locked up, secured in a, in a cell, and uh, hopefully he'll sober up and calm down a little bit, and he'll be booked into jail tonight also. As of January 1st, I believe it was, Arizona passed a new law that your license plate state must be clearly visible. And the car right in front of us is not. The uh, license plate frame is completely covering up. I'm gonna block this whole entrance here. The correct thing to do is pull over immediately and stop. I was watching, I thought I was right on 40. Right on 40. Yeah, I thought I was watching exactly because I knew you were behind me for a long time. Actually, way. that's not why I stopped you, ma'am. Oh, okay. Is this your car? Yes. Okay. As of January 1st, Arizona passed a new law that your state on your license plate has to be clearly visible. Oh, okay. Step on out here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Part of the problem is, is people have these things where you can't see the state. Oh, I see. Because right up here is where it says Arizona, and now that has to be completely visible. Oh, okay. So it can be corrected by just taking your license plate frame right. off, okay? So I'll give you a warning for that, but I do need to see your license, okay. registration, and insurance, please. You know, this is my husband's car. So well, then you can blame him. Yeah, <laughs> and I don't know where his registration is. I hope it's in his glove compartment. I know I'm not speeding. I watched it all the way. I was just kind of waiting because I didn't want us to stop just out in the middle of the road, but when you get home, you may want to check your other vehicles as well. Well, yeah, I think my other car has the same thing. Okay, yeah, you'll need to take those off or, or have them modified or something. That does look like the current registration. There you go. Yes, ma'am, it is. Okay, let me just check a couple of things. I'll be right back with sure. you, all right? Okay, thank you.
All righty, ma'am. Okay, Just make sure you get that taken care of for me, okay? Thank you for telling me. I'll take it off my car, too. All right, drive safe. Thank you. Well, she says that's her husband's car, so she's blaming it on him. <laughs> well, most people don't know that law has been passed, so for the most part, I'll give them warnings. But in our computer system, I'll indicate that I pulled her over for that violation, and if she stopped for it again, then she's got no excuse, and I would write her a ticket if I found that she didn't correct the problem, but she only got a warning right now.